Hello guys and welcome to another video from me as a tribute to Taps games and the casual games they make that I spend a great deal of time on. In this video I am looking at Giraffe Evolution, that is the fourth of the Evolution games that uh, I have been looking into in videos and I play them all and I have played them all a great deal, perhaps even too much, but um, the games are pretty much about the same thing. You uh, you get crates every 10 seconds or so depending on upgrades and uh, these crates contain an animal in this game a giraffe the small one that I'm moving around here is what you get to start with and uh, once you have two of those you can fuse them together to get the next stage of, go of the giraffe <laughs> and that really continues until you get the last giraffe in any given stage which then allows you to move on to the next where you do the same but here you you don't get any crates you get the beings once you have evolved them from the previous tier you have another tier and this here is really the the last tier so to say in that this is where you can fuse goats the last time goats i just did the goat evolution thing so <laughs> These are giraffes, obviously. So, just buying a few here. Um, what you can do here, let's see, do, is this the best I can do? Well, I figured I would have enough, like so. Once you reach this point and you have these end creatures, these are the highest level creatures you can have in the normal world. When you fuse these, you get a divine being giraffe to be kidding you created an ultimate being so this ultimate being i need to create four times when i do that i can recreate the universe and get a bonus i can get the gems increased coin production perhaps even new theme so uh, that's um that's actually pretty amazing but uh, that's not really all there is to giraffe evolution like some of the other evolution games you have the option to skin your beings you buy different hats that uh that you can give them so now I'm just um, like I can uh, give this guy flowers instead now it's a girl obviously or how about this um, not really so much into buying with uh, with diamonds I kind of like to save them to if I for some reason want to rush into uh, completing uh, some stage or something so a lot of different options you have here to to customize uh, your giraffes and you can do that with every single uh, giraffe that you have and there are achievements for doing different combinations of hats and stuff like that that's also I mean that's all pretty cool I really love that they added that feature to the game what I have differently in the giraffe evolution compared to any of the other evolution games besides that I actually gave them hats is um, the alien world because once you read a, reach a certain point in the game you are offered to sell your giraffes to an alien you're going to get some amount of funds that you can spend in the alien world but let's go check out that alien world because I've got crazy crazy pants here look at that I have 70.3 million rubies I get 34,348 rubies a minute I'm practically at the point where I I can't really spend them faster than I get them because I run out of room to I even bought upgrades to have more room but I still run out of of space and uh, what does that really mean it means that I have pretty much completed the base game and the alien game because look at this stuff here once it comes on my screen anyway reflected to that is horrible the alien world is basically the same as the normal war world you just only have the two stages and once you reach like this last alien that I'm moving around here you can't go any further if you try to fuse two of these you get this message go away I am evolution at its best. Go away. I am doom. Right. But we also have this guy. This alien guy. 
And he's really impressed with us. And he says like this, I can trade my aliens for 30 diamonds. So what I have right here is 10 aliens or so that I can trade for 30 diamonds. So I actually have like 30, I have like 300 diamonds just waiting to be claimed here. And the reason why I haven't done it is because I have 54 diamonds. I don't really like using my diamonds and I do like just saving up my rubies because I mean what should I do with all these rubies and all these gems? <laughs> I'm just really looking forward to uh, seeing another update to the game uh, because Taps is one of the one of the casual game developers that really appear to be into making cool updates for their games. It takes a while, but once they add something, it's something that you can uh, really enjoy for quite some time. So I'm just really saving up these rubies so that I can have more fun easier once the next update uh, appears. So that's why I have uh, <laughs> almost uh, filled up my second slot in the alien world with the best alien giraffes that you can imagine. So the last thing I want to do in, the, in this video here is just to go into the giraffedia and look at the giraffes that I have uncovered so far. Uh, the baby giraffe, the adult, camelocorn, capri rough, serpent pot, piper, Slugadalis, Slugadalis, you know, ABS, Giraffsilla, Pupil Rafa, Flatiraf, Tenderize, Longnia, Fido, Piraf, Nectipede, Teslane, I love those and the triumphard and the divine beings Chang Jing Lu looks crazy huh and um, Catalectius so this is what I have and Palace and that's because I have reset the game uh, a few times already in the alien world we have the alien giraffe the evolved alien giraffe Equilibrius Gravipod, Caducia, Repib, Calthorn, Y, Geloxius, Blingring, Giravana, Giracmeout. Yeah, and that is the last being in the alien world. So last thing I want to do here is just go into the stats area as you can see two recreations working on my third and as I've said in the other videos I'm really just doing this pretty casually because I love it because I think it's it's cool fun and a nice way to relax so um, yeah that's pretty much it from here guys thank you very much for watching